the field was decimated in many ways. His right. strongest competitor, Tomita, was not on. Right. So others took advantage of this uh, rather weak field, in fact, and lack of depth. There's really only about eh, eight guys who could really win a medal based on their complete mastery of gymnastics. And Jonathan Horton, member of the fourth place finishing U.S. team, a terrific improvement from their last year's 13th place, earns another fourth place, finishes out of the medals two days in a row. And that, again, you know, just like their fourth place finish as a team for the U.S., to have an all-arounder that close to the podium, again, it's just very motivating for the entire delegation back here. Well, it's hard to say. It was sort of an unusual day of gymnastics with some unexpected drama here at the end. I'm glad we got to discuss a lot of the issues about men's gymnastics these days and the current rules and quota points. And boy, did we get a flood of emails. I'm yes, glad all of you sent us a note with your personal opinions about... Getting set for the awards ceremony now here in the men's all-around competition. Day three of coverage here. World Gymnastics Championships live from Stuttgart. A little bit later on, we're going to be having the women's all-around final. Looking forward to that competition. I expect it to be dramatic as well. For those of you watching at home, the women qualifiers, the top women qualifier from Romania, Steliana Nistor, and Nastia Liukin and Sean Johnson from the United States qualified second and third. The top three separated by just four tenths of a point in the qualifying rounds. The reigning world champion Vanessa Ferrari qualified in fifth. So expect to see a thrilling competition in the women's all around later today. And then two more days of coverage of individual apparatus finals. And we'll see a lot more from these.